Hi, I'm tired. Why don't we just tell Lee Balcom that the Americans are too strong, that there's too many of them, and that we won't be able to overtake them, that we won't win. They say, okay, we'll do that. The other one says, that sounds like a good idea. I'm pretty tired and I'm hungry. I want to go home too. So they all decide, the five of them decide that they're going to go back. But what they don't know is that Lee Balcom said during that night, he took the other five, told those other five warriors, you're going to go over and count how many Americans are there. You're going to find where they're camped. You're going to count how many tents there are, how many guns there are. And then you're going to come back and tell me. These ones he changed into bats, or they changed themselves into bats. These ones took the forms of bats. Then they flew over, and they actually overtook the mine ganak, and they saw them on top of the hill, and they flew over them, and then they went, and they actually counted, and then they came back. So all of them came back. They arrived around the same time. Nibalkam said, oh, oh, okay, I'll question each one of you. And his helper then had them, different helpers, he said, keep them all apart. One by one, I'm going to talk to each of these guys on their own. So the first wolf comes in and he says, okay, how many are there? And he says, oh, there's too many. I couldn't even count that high. They're all over the place there. We'll never be able to overtake them. He says, well, did you count them? I said, I can't count that high. <laughs> okay then. So he let, told him to go up the other way. Next guy come in. He says, oh, I counted 500. 500 tents. And uh, how, about, how about the guns? Oh, there was lots of guns. 500 then. Okay. The next wolf come in. He says, oh, there must have been about 300. 300 wolf, uh, tents there. And, uh, and there was 10 guns in front of each, stacked up like that tripod there on that camera. <laughs> and he says, okay. Next guy come in. He says, there's a thousand of them. Thousand tents. And there's 10 tents in front of them. We'll never be able to overtake them. So each one has a different story. They don't have their story straight. They didn't bother to make up their lie before they came back. But they, then he gets to the first wolf, I mean the first bat. The bat says there's 10 rows of tents by 15 columns. And in front of each, there's 10 guns stacked. And Ibakum says, Naha. Next wolf comes in, says the same thing. They all say the same thing. There's 10 rows of tents by 15 columns. And in each front of each tent, there's 10. So he did the math and he knows how many there are. So Nibakum says, okay, we're going to head over there. So they all go there. That they go where the Americans are camped. So then Nibakum stays up all night and he tells them, okay, you guys rest. All of you rest. Sleep. Get your, save your energy. We're going to go. And he says, he tells them what the battle plan is. So he says, but once, they say in one version, when the first streaks and lights of dawn appear, then I'll wake, I'll call you all. And then what we're going to have is we're going to send a row of 10 runners down those columns. And your job, what to do? You use Bhagamagan Dash Kandakazan. You're just going to use your war club. And all your job is to do is to knock down that tent. You don't fire any gun. Nobody fire a gun. You just knock down that tent. So we'll send 10 runners to do that. And then we'll send another set of 10 runners to set down the, knock down these poles like this. That's all their job is to knock down the poles. And then he says, now the next set of runners will come. And all you do with your war clubs, you just start banging heads when that Gosmo Negan falls on them and you just start banging heads and just start killing. So that's what they did. They started killing all these guys. They, they ran over there and then uh, I'm getting the signal here. So I have to leave you hanging in suspense. <laughs> They end up breaching the fort and uh, 
they end up uh, as each one stands over the top. The the Nibakum says Asma Tik Jacques go right up against the wall. And he says, Don't fire any guns and then finally one of the sent sentinels at the at the base of the garrison there let out the yell and then that's when some of the ones in the fort started to wake up. And then they woke up others and then they would lean over to shoot over the wall. And as they leaned their head over, that's when Nibalcom had his men, a set of men, stand right up against the wall and their job was to pick off these guys that peeked over the top. So they all started peeking over and they, then uh, these guys started sharpshooting and killing off these other guys. And then that's when uh, Nibalcom ended up breaching the fort finally and he took the fort. But what he had to expressly told the British is, you're not going to fight with me on this side of the river, you fight on that side of the river. And then all those three tellings of the, uh, that version, I've been looking for this battle to, in the archival documentation, but I haven't found it yet. Because what they, they say in there is that Nibalcom fought on one side of the river, the British on the other. And he says, that when, once you've attained victory, raise the British flag. So Nibalcom got in there and he raised the British flag and he looked across the river and he saw that the British were also victorious on the other side and they raised the British flag. So there's supposed to be two forts, but in the oral tradition, a couple of them said it was Detroit. Uh, but I, I, I don't, it doesn't quite match up that it would be Detroit. So I was looking at Niagara and other places where this, this battle possibly had, had happened. But uh, that's a, who are the story of one of our ancestors from Manitoulin, Nibakum had a son named Debaske, and then Debaske became chief at Chiging, and then once Debaske got uh, baptized, he took the name Louis Debaske, and then now that's a big surname on the reserve, but that's how we have a tie to the War of 1812 as well as to the death of Tecumseh. Miigwechgib is in the Mekkene Enchiek, Minwa Dasha, Kene Naki, Naki Jik. Minua Java Koi Jikin, Dehege Jik, Minua Dasha, Getsi Pitsit, Kiken Ma. So uh, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for drumming and singing. And uh, thank the elder for saying the opening words and for everybody who worked on putting this together to invite me to come and talk for a little bit. Miigwech. <laughs>